Okay, hey everyone, join me over on Rumble. I started another account over there. Um, I wanna talk about what we're doing even more in the pro-life movement. My Rumble channel is going to be dedicated to the pro-life stuff that we do do. If you wanna join me over there, this is abortion stuff. It's kind of a mix of abortion stuff between being preventative to resources. So over there is going to be more community and what are we doing about it? Um, although I will put stuff here too. So basically, um, I called a pregnancy center and we talked about what they're doing, which is amazing. They're actually taking their mobile bus and they will be, not only does their mobile bus have STI testing on it, but they will be using their mobile bus for the first time this year to go to a county fair and offer a feeding and changing place for mothers so that they can change you know, cool off, change their baby's diapers and feed their babies and just cool off from the hot, hot weather. And it's also a very good technique for free advertising um, for women out there who may be at the fair and are thinking, you know, they're abortion minded. So I really like this idea. Um, I like the idea that they are doing STI testing in colleges. And also they have um, teachers going into the public and private schools in teaching kids in fifth, sixth, um, no, I think sixth, seventh, eighth, and sometimes ninth grade, um, you know, about avoiding sexual, uh, you know, diseases, being risk avoidance. I don't know exactly what the curriculum covers, but I think that's an amazing idea to start conversations with kids at a young age. So, um, as I talked about this, I also talked to another clinic in Martin, Tennessee, Tennessee that really didn't want their, associ their clinic associated with the pro-life movement. And, you know, that's just kind of like, you know, oh, very well then, you know, if you cannot help women, in my opinion, and this is off the record, if you can't help women, um, with the pro-life movement, I would say you're not really helping women at all. If you can't be there for women and encourage a pro-life mindset, then I don't really know what you're doing. So again, back to the pregnancy center that is offering medical, educational, and financial help. Many of them are offering this. I think that is the best route to go for women. Before you even go to a you know, STI clinic, go to a pregnancy center, get the testing for free and go, go there. And even if they did charge something small, which I don't know that it's free everywhere, I think it probably is, but even if they charge something small, I think they would help you go there and get the help there rather than just a clinic where they're going to be neutral. Um, I think the very context of having you know some kind of sexually transmitted infection does fall under the context of a possible pregnancy and you know wanting to be married instead of falling into that when you're not married so um you know i would definitely go that way god is good don't be scared if you're afraid of having something i remember that happening to me when i was like I don't know, I must have been like 18 or 19. I actually went to a clinic and God is the one who protected me and took care of me with my health. So don't be afraid of that. So that's what I got for now. If you wanna join me on Rumble, join me. And uh, I will be talking about all kinds of issues here for women, as well as talking about the help out there to help women on my Rumble channel. Thanks guys.